I'm so sorry I missed you. You were across the street at Radio City uh, at Dave Chappelle's yes. residency that he's doing for That's the whole, cool, almost huh? the whole month of August. Yeah. yeah. It's insane that he's... I mean, who gets a residency at Radio City Music Hall? Dave Chappelle? I did, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And then, uh, how was it? Uh, have, you, have you played there before? I played there with Cat Williams did back you? in 2008. No! And the same stage manager was there, and she remembered me. She no. remembered me because I was telling them that I needed stairs so I can go off the stage because I like to go into the audience. And the guy was like, no, you can't do that. And I was like, dude, it's happening. So either way, either you're putting stairs in or I don't know what's happening. Just happened. go with the flow <laughs> or be the one that didn't do what you needed to do. <laughs> and tell, uh, tell, there's a story I heard that you once opened for Jamie Foxx and yes. bombed completely. Well, that was the second time I ever performed comedy, ever. I performed 1987 at Colorado State for the funniest person on campus. And then I was like, oh, I'm, I'm going to be the next Eddie Murphy. I'm the next Eddie Murphy. Yeah. And then I, I left college, left the scholarship, everything. And my friend, Vanessa, got me a gig uh, opening up for Jamie Foxx. I don't know how she did it, but we know how she did it. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Now, we... so, so, you, so you, you go on. I went on and, oh, God, I bombed. I bombed so bad that I think, like, Joke Angels was coming out and was just like, just stop. <laughs> <laughs> it was just bad. I mean, do you remember the jokes and just, just no? They were bad jokes. They were bad jokes. I think I was talking about my uncle and I think I was talking about churches. But then you And then the DJ Jane. started scratching in the middle. He was like, sicka, 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 stop lying. <laughs> <laughs> really? But then you said Jamie gave Jamie you words came, of advice. Jamie came on stage, and the first thing he did was tell the audience to stop booing her, because she had more guts to get up here and try it when y'all didn't. So he, He's a great guy. Yeah. When he comes here, yeah. too. He loves comedians. Yeah. And, and he, and um, I knew that his friend uh, liked big women. So again, I sent Vanessa uh, <laughs> to, uh, you know, butter up the friends. So yeah, yeah, yeah. We can go to Fat Burgers afterwards. And yeah. then yeah. I just got Jamie in a corner and was just like, yo, how do I do this? How do I be like you? How do I get that? How do I... And he was like, you like 19. You have, you have nothing. You have no stories. You have no life. He was like, go live. Go have some bad jobs. Go have some good jobs. Go get your heart broken. Go break some hearts. He was like, because you have no material right now. Wow. And that's what I did. That's interesting. Well, yep. that's kind of great advice. Yep. And, uh, uh -huh. and look at you now. And, and I got a gang of material now. <laughs> 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 I live! No, yeah, yeah. And now, look at you. Now you're Emmy nominated for Saturday Night Live. I know, can you on. believe it? Yeah, I can't believe it. Yeah. I can't believe it. That is so crazy! Yes, only one of you. There's only it's one only Leslie Jones. There's only, only one, one you. Me. You deserve that, man. Oh, and, my God, that's so uh, crazy. But I, I think you now become, now you're like a big celebrity now. Now is it kind of calm down when you meet a celebrity? Like, you, tell the story when you met Al Pacino. You, you, you... Oh, no, nothing ever calms down. And I'm still stupid as hell. Um, <laughs> I call Al Pacino. This is the, my favorite. I love this story so much. This is where at the BET. No, I met Dustin Hoffman and I called him Al Pacino. <laughs> I know that, I know that, but I wanted to get to that later, but... And I didn't know I had made a mistake. I, I was, you know, I thought I had gave such a grant. I was like, oh, my, I just love your work, and you're just so awesome. <laughs> Mr. Pacino, I think I just watched you for years, and I just think that and you are just the, the epitome of what acting is, and I... I, he I just, love you in Scarface. And, and, and then he was just looking at me like, Queen Latifah be tripping. <laughs> 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 Uh, gosh, and he's the coolest guy, Dustin yeah, Hoffman, right? Yeah, no, he's rad. Yeah, he was cool. Uh, so here you are, you got nominated for an Emmy. Uh, where, where, where were you when, when you got the oh, news? Oh, man, okay, first of all, everybody knows not to call my house before 10 o'clock. Okay. Because I am a vampire. Yeah, exactly, yeah, you got to okay, sleep. Okay, so I got to sleep. So yeah. my phone kept ringing. I was like, why is my phone ringing? And I looked at the phone, it was Lauren Roseman, you know, our publicist. I love that, So I was yeah. like, oh, Lord, they didn't find some more naked pictures. <laughs> Found more naked pictures. No, they didn't. Oh, that's not gonna happen. No. Damn. <laughs> it could happen, Jimmy. It could happen. <laughs> naked uh, so pictures. So I just was like, damn, I don't feel like taking this car. And I, had, I, and I was like, what's up, Lauren? What's going on? And she was like, you got nominated for Eddie! And then I jumped out the bed and ran through the living room and naked. was like, ah! <laughs> How you know I was naked? Oh, well, I was. Mean... <laughs>
<laughs> I'm so excited for you. We're rooting for you, and I'll see you at the Emmys. Yes! Go for it, pal. Yes! You deserve it. Yes! Leslie Jones. Watch the new season of Saturday Night Live premiering this fall on NBC. On and on and on. Uh, I said. And it's on and on and on.